Let's talk about some of the common terms used in Google Spreadsheet. To kick things off, let's cover some spreadsheet terminologies to help you understand this terms that we're going to use in this lesson as well as in the next lessons that we'll have. So the first thing that we'll try to understand today is the word cell, C-E-L-L. -L. So a cell, it's a single data point or element in a spreadsheet. So this is what you call a cell. Anything that is hi highlighted in blue is a cell. In lesson one, uh, we taught you how to reference a cell, but let's try to understand it one more time. For you to be able to name a cell, you have to identify the column name and then the row number. So for example, this cell is in column D, row five. So we call this cell D5. And for this cell, it's in row or column C, row seven. We reference the cell as C7. For this cell, it is B3, so that is a cell. And for you to further understand, let's try to identify a column. A column is a vertical set of cells. Vertical. So all of these are columns and they are identifiable by alphabetical order. They are named or referenced alphabetically from A to Z. And if you want to add more, you can add more. And what would happen here if you add more, it wouldn't go back to letter A, but instead it would be AA column AA, -A, something like that, Kep column AB, column AC, that would be the next set of columns. But right now, let's just try to be familiar with this. Again, these are the columns. We have column A, column B, column C, and so on, right? So the opposite of a column is a row, this one. A row it is the horizontal set of cells. And if you can see, they are identified numerically. Um, preset is it's from 1 to 1,000, but you can add more if you need to. But as you identify a, a, a row, it's numerical. So this one is row 1, this is row 2, row 3, row 4, and so forth. Again, we have your column, and then we have a row. And that's how you can identify or you can name a cell. This cell is in row, I'm sorry, in column B, row 3, so we name this cell B3. Right? So the next term that we need to identify or we need to understand as we go through this lesson is the word range. A range, it is a selection of cells, multiple cells extending across a row, a column, or both. So again, a range, it composes of multiple cells. It can be a row, it can be a column, or both. It can be a row and a column. So this is a range. This one, it can be a range, range there so multiple cells a selection of multiple cells that's what you call range after that we have the word function function it is a built-in operation from the spreadsheet app um, quite similar with a Microsoft Excel whenever you start creating a formula you use a function it can be used to calculate a cell a row a column or a range of values you can also use those functions to manipulate data and more and if you would like to see the list of functions that you can use within spreadsheets, Google Sheets, you just have to go to Insert tab, click on it, and go down. You'll see the word function. Just hover your mouse over and you'll see all the available function you can use. This one, the first five selections are the most commonly used. But aside from that, you have other options that you can use for functions. Okay, and related to function, we have formula. So a formula, that's a combination of functions, cells, rows, columns, and ranges used to obtain a specific result. So if, if you need to calculate for something, you will need to use a formula. And within that formula, you have function. Okay? And for you to better understand, let's try to create a formula. So a formula would always start with an equal sign. And let's say we would like to add values. Let's use sum. The function is sum. And we would like to add ranges. Let's use the open parenthesis and let's for example we need to add this ranges let's close that there so this as a whole is the formula however this one sum or sum that's the function so for you to understand function is what you use the operation that you use it could be sum, average count whatsoever that's the function and that function is a part of the whole formula which starts with an equal sign there so it's a, a formula and we also have a worksheet or a sheet 
So a worksheet that's the named set of rows and columns making up your spreadsheet. One spreadsheet can have multiple sheets. So I want you to look at the lower portion of your screen. What you see here is sheet 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are what we call worksheets. Worksheet 1, Worksheet 2, Worksheet 3, and Worksheet 4. There. So they are um, worksheets within the main spreadsheet. So the last term that we have to understand is the word spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet that is the entire document containing your worksheet. For you to, for, to better understand the difference between the two, I'll go back to Google Drive here. So, <clears throat> so if you can see here, these are some files I have in Google Drive and all of these are spreadsheets. As a whole, they are spreadsheets, but when you open one of them, the first sheet that you see here, this one, that's a worksheet. Worksheet 2, work th worksheet 3, and worksheet 4. And a whole document, that's what you call the spreadsheet. Okay? Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.